and this is Seva Sierra. Oh. See, yes. Ooh. Cece for sure. All yes. Of it. This week we are at Henry's Midtown Tavern here in Midtown Atlanta. Atlanta. Yes. I'm ready for this drink. Absolutely. I mean, it's custom that you start with the bottle. Okay. Yeah, period. My mouth says. Now the thing is, I'm feeling a little spicy today. I'm not gonna lie. Um, we doing pineapple or cranberry? Oh. Questions that need answers. I say both. Of them. Come on. <laughs> yes. Give me both. I'm excited about this Henry. I am. I love this place. I used to work here like a long, long time ago, and um, the food is everything. It's like upscale bar food, so you get that like little greasiness, but you get that real good succulent dinner style. I'm excited. I already know what I want. I don't even need the mini yes for me. Like for me, it's the aesthetic. It's the feel. It's the being yeah. here. You can kind of yeah. sort of see the hustle and bustle of Atlanta. Definitely. I definitely like it. And it's a good place to kick your bullshit. It's the mouth size. <laughs> always. Always. You need, it, that is brunch protocol, okay? So we've established that already. Um, so today we're talking about new age dating, uh, relationship paradigms, however you want to tie it all together. You know, we're just talking about being together, being together. The 2000s this is a different type of date. It it's is not the same. It's not meeting in bookstores. It's not, hey, how are you? What's I your wish. Name? I wish. Downloading an app. Yeah. It is liking, swiping left. It's DMing. If I like seven of your pictures, Snapchat. you know what's up. Yeah, it's all of those things. <laughs> and it's annoying a little bit for me. I, it is. I guess I'm stuck kind of in the 90s. Like, I've been still fantasizing like, on brown sugar. I want somebody like, you know, give me them Tay Diggs vibes or, you know what I'm saying? Make me a mixtape. Yes, you know, I mean, Love Jones was toxic and yeah, all, but, but if I could find a love in Tay, male or female, okay. I'm with it. I'm your girl. I'm being along all day. I want that. It's the trying to like read between the lines, like, cause you know, when you text in or like, yeah, yeah, when you text in and DM me, like, I like talking on the phone. I love FaceTime and like, if you got an iPhone, I just feel like I'm it's gonna FaceTime mandatory. you. Yeah. yeah, that's the call. Yeah. I am calling you. I'm gonna FaceTime you. So for me, I'm just like, I have to like have that physical connection, like being interacting with somebody. So the texting thing, like, I'm so. Oh, are you a texter? I am a texter. Really. I don't like it. I'm a texter. I'm a voice noter. I'm, a, I'm with the voice because it's again yeah. to me that's like a that's more of a personal connection. Like mm -hmm. so, I can get I can even get the voice notes, but texting all day. Not texting all day because I work with my hands, so I can't really text okay. her, so to speak. So I'll voice note you quick though. Come on, but voice note. I struggle with how to get off the phone call when uh, I'm ready to get off. Okay. So okay. if I'm texting, I can just stop texting. So let's let's start here, okay? Because everybody got their own definitions of what it means to date. For me, here we go. We're talking, okay. Then we're dating, okay. Then we're exclusively dating, and then we talk about relationships, okay? Because dating to me, I want to sample. You like smorgasbords? I want to sample what are, what's out there to figure out, okay? Do I can I be with so this there? Person? What's the difference between talking and dating? Then, if that's the case, because to me that means you're talking. If I'm dating you, like dating means there's courtship, there's taking you out, there's being outside with you, mm -hmm. seeing what your tastes are, what you like doing, what you're into. Okay. Talking on talking is literally that. Talking, talking on the phone, conversation. Um, do we have things in interest? Like so then, how long do you think you're supposed to be at the talking stage? Not for long. Months. Because at the talking says I'm trying to figure out. Are you trying to figure out but you whether can or not you want to date okay. into each other? Because yeah. if we're talking it's and I'm like, it's, it's like, okay, if I'm talking, we're talking, boom. <laughs> then I'm like, oh, okay, well, what you getting into this weekend? Mm -hmm. If you make time for me, hmm, check. That's a point for you. But if you're like, oh, I'm busy this weekend, mm -hmm. okay, we're going to continue talking. Yeah. Second week, hey, what you getting into this weekend? Oh, you know, I'm, I'm going to be out of town. Okay. Let's just put a disclaimer out though. Don't what you doing, a girl, all during the talking stage, okay? You that cannot too. just keep that saying, too. hey, what you doing? Take the initiative. What, okay, I just want to just put take that out the there. I know you was giving them a little example, take but some people might take it literal. Yeah, don't hate no. what you doing with me. Take the initiative. All day, every day. And be like, okay, I bought a ticket, or yeah, hey, I'm coming to get you yeah. this time, this day, and then go from there. Hey. I'm with that. Okay, so you talk, you're figuring out each other's schedules, which you kind of got in common, right? Mm -hmm. And then dating. Now, this get a little tricky when you're doing the dating and exclusive date. Now, for, you know, our simple people out there, exclusive means that you're just dating each other. 
okay? Let's just put that out there. Mm -hmm. So dating, of course, is just general, but is it rules to date? To date. You set your own rules, though. Because oh, then you that shit. See what I mean? Right. No, 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 and no, no, that's no. the problem. No, 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 no. Right there. You set your own rules for that situation. Because, okay, hypothetically, if we're dating and okay. you're like, okay, but I don't want you dating nobody else. I'm like, ah, so does that mean we're exclusive? And what if you be like, no? So I can't necessarily date another person, but can I talk to another person? Wait, that don't even sound right. You said... That you, if you ask the person, mm -hmm. are we dating, or I don't want you talking to nobody else, and then you say, well, does that mean we dating exclusively, and they say no, then I don't really even understand how the conversation is still going, because I would just think that the conversation is over. Like, why? Why would you not want me to talk to somebody else, but we not exclusively dating? Like, how did that go? They got to go hand in hand, right? The rule. For the person who wants you to not talk to... Okay, so if it was me... And we I are in Atlanta. When you're dating, okay, it should be a general understanding that, yes, you may talk to different people. Mm -hmm. Y'all may spend different time to each other. But to me, that's when you start getting into the area of, like, if y'all gonna have sex, are y'all having sex with other people? Are we just having sex with each other? Like, it's... I mean, exclusivity. That is that right there. So y'all see, the appetizers are here, artillery is at hand. We are ready. Henry's is about to go down. I got the crab cake. I got these lovely baby back potatoes. And baby bag. baby oh baked God. potatoes. They, they are so good. They're cute. I'm ready to get into it. Me okay. Too. Um, you gonna let me taste some of your crab cake, bro? I know you gonna let me get some of that. The joy. It's in it. Eating. What do y'all? That's what we have brunch for. We gotta get different stuff to each other. It's the crab cake. It's the crab cake. It's the crab cake. Did you squeeze a lime on here? A lemon on here already? It got a little citrus in this too. Okay, you're not going to tell you. I'm going to stop that. Get back, get back. Don't swap it off. I feel like that's what the dating scene is right now. You see what I mean? You just rotation. Rotating that shit. It, I don't like it. I don't like it. You don't like the rotation of the day team? I mean, I like that, but I really, I knew what I wanted. <laughs> Those potatoes are in. We're in. Okay. I made the right choice. You did. I, I love them. crab, so. I mean, listen, and the crab was busting too. But I'm just saying, I know what I want. Okay. And that's just all I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. um, but we were talking about the difference between dating and exclusively dating, right? And so I'm like, for you, because again, everybody got their own definition. So what? changes or what's the difference between dating and dating exclusively you have to consume my thoughts like i'm a busy person mm -hmm. so if i'm at work and i'm like dang i don't know where she's going or dang i miss this person then i've gone to the point where i only want to date this person mm -hmm. then for me it will be a conversation right but when you're dating mm -hmm. What constitutes, what's the difference then? Okay, let's start here. What's the difference? I'm looking for a specific answer. What's the difference between talking and dating? What changes that? Fuck, you gonna ask me my opinion and then you look for a specific answer. I'm just saying, because clearly this is probably like where people kind of get things like a little, it's a little bit of a little bit because they date in, but then they're expecting like exclusive benefits or they're not clear about what parts they want to be exclusive or how they want to go about certain things. So then, you think you're just out you're here expecting able. expecting a heartbreak. That means you went into it with expectation. Going back to the difference between dating exclusively, do you think the only thing then that changes you dating someone from general to exclusive is sexual relationship? No, it's how I feel about that person. So you think you can have sex with somebody that you're dating, but when it's time, I'm confused. So you would have sex with them while you're dating? <laughs> or do you only have sex with them when you, I mean, yeah, we are. I had sex with people that I was talking to, yeah, and I knew I wasn't gonna date, but I wanted to know what the sex was like. What the sex was gonna be like? I feel it. But I also know that hey, over here I'm growing and I'm cultivating this as yeah. possibly being a relationship, so I might take this slower. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like I'm gonna create the depth. I'm gonna get to know that person. I'm gonna be like, you know, I'm gonna be more intrigued by certain things. So I'm do you not get... have sex with them as soon as you would have Correct. sex with the person that you were talking to? Say. Correct. Wow. That's so backwards to me. It I'm trying to hump be. the person's bones that I want to talk to all the time. Mm -hmm. So, y'all, the food is here. 
I'm excited. It looks amazing. Woo. This kale salmon salad. It's my gorgeous. recommendation. Yeah, it's my recommendation. I got two tacos. I had a vegan taco and the pulled pork taco. This is a fish taco. Oh shit! It, well, it is a fish. She taco. want to be vegan so bad. No, I say what I say. <laughs> I got a salmon burger, okay? And extra saucy, because I'm real saucy. Extra saucy on the side, a little spicy ketchup, with some Parmesan truffle french fries. Let's get into it, y'all. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm fries first. Oh, give me the pork. Mm. I told her to get that. It be in the shoulder. I'm telling you, you can have her there. That'd be nice. That's how I know that's my bus. Oh my god. Henry's job. Henry's got the best thing ever. Period. Yeah. This whole pork taco. I'm not talking to nobody. Nobody. Mm -mm. And I've been here a couple of times and I've never had their tacos. Mm -hmm. That that whole pork taco in it though. I don't even eat pork. However, talking about a vegan taco. It's a vegan taco. Did y'all hear that? Anybody, Anybody ask? <laughs> Those are signs to look out when you're dating somebody. Whether or not they can be honest about their food choice. She wanna be a vegan so bad. Over here eating pork taco. At this point, this taco eat me. So this is better than sleep. Come on, man. That, I feel like that's the problem with dating. People just stop having sex when they date. Let me shut up, because I'm not going to ever stop everything. Feed me. Is that a love language? Yeah. What is? We ready to get into, like, from dating that we done moved up exclusively, that means I only want to fuck on you. Mm -hmm. I'm only giving my time to you. Mm -hmm. But then what changes that from, why is that exclusively dating and not a relationship? Because I don't necessarily know if I want to put a title on it. Because I feel like Oh my you, God, you listen, one of those people? No, 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 listen. I feel like if we're in a relationship, Come now we're in a relationship. In a, in a sense, like, preparation for marriage, like, because if I get into a relationship with you, like, the whole, what's the end goal? The end goal should be marriage, right? Ain't that the whole, you gotta get past them. If I don't see myself marrying you and you're, for this time frame in my life, and we just doing it. So then why the hell did you get all the way to exclusively dating that person? Because you're still learning people, like, okay. Knowing you and not living with you, they're two different things. I know you in a sense because I know what you present. Mm -hmm. It takes, for me, I feel as though, it takes years to truly know somebody and I don't think that you truly even know them then. When you live with them, you're in their space, you see different habits that you might Absolutely. not Absolutely, they definitely say that. you want to get to know somebody and okay. live with them. Exactly. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. dating, in relationship, like all of that I feel like goes... Oh. No, you I guess I've just never been so. able to be a dater. Like all my life, I've always been in relationships. Like so, I feel like maybe I was dated in my relationships. I don't know because I want to know you before I get in a relationship with you. I mean, I did get to know. The, I mean, I was young too, but I did. I feel like I was getting to know those people, and our connections and commonalities were just so strong that I just knew I wanted to just like only get to know them at that time. And how it ended was how it ended. Of course, I was down for whatever the ride was. But I wanted to last longer. Yes. But I mean, at the same time, like. But now that you're older, would you have changed how that ride took place? I mean, you would. If you're thinking about it, you would. Yes, I would change how the ride took place. But I still wouldn't have chosen to do more research. Because if I'm dating somebody, I'm researching them. I'm studying them. I'm trying to figure out do I really like your ass? I'm not just gonna hop into something and be like, oh, I'm down for the ride. No, fuck that. These wheels could fall off and we could get in the way. Bitch, I don't want to date no more. I just want my soulmate to come get me. I'm right here. Open. Earth is I'm ghetto. Right. Please, come get me. <coughs> Save me from this ghetto earth. I don't want to do no more dating. I'm over it. Because it's just too much, like, I get it. Get to know a person. But, like, I also feel like if you are just truly... I guess maybe I'm just one of those people that just feel like people should just always be upfront about shit right then and there in the beginning. Like, That's I'm not realistic. It's not a realistic expectation. I 
timing. I'm you stressed. Have to think, you have to think about it. Okay. I'm stressed. And I'll go back to the example we used in the previous episode. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When you were fake busy. Mm. What if I would have really, really used that shit? No, but seriously, what if I was truly thinking that you were a busy person and you were like, just, you had shit going, not to say that you don't have shit going on, right. but you had shit going on, was, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And then I was just like, oh my God, I love but you. But I'm the type of busy. person. And then come to find out. I'm the type of person though. I would have definitely still came clean. Like one thing about me, I don't know about anybody else. Know how to like necessarily fake a lot of things. Like I may do but things for a um, motive, right? And then I still, who would tell you that they faking it? Who? No, but right. your statement was in hopes that people are honest up front, that they're clean up well, front. Well, listen, I feel like I had to do that because I was up honest up front, and that didn't seem like it was good enough at the time. I feel like people also have, you know, they little wounded childhood and shit that gets triggered. Yo, shit. Your- <laughs> that had nothing to do with me. Right. You so while dating it. somebody, I feel like realistically, you have to get to know who that person is. And realistically, yes, they have to deal with their own shit, figure out their own shit before even being like, hey, I'm ready for a relationship. A relationship is a whole nother step deeper. So then how long? Okay, okay. so let's take your viewpoint, right? From talking to dating to exclusively dating, how long does that process, what does that process look like? How long? For me, I would say like a year. It took you a year to decide if you want to be in a relationship with somebody? Well, my current situation took me two years. So, I mean, Russia's good. I'm Yeah. I'm still stuck on the whole it takes a year to date you and everything, but I guess at the end of the at the end of the day, it's all about... Do you rush the production of a diamond? No, I don't, but I'm also kind of impatient, so I want to work diligently at it non-stop all the time and then get my answer. Now, sometimes when they get me in situations, yes. Um, and then sometimes if you're impatient like Christina, you still get in situations. <laughs> so, with that being said, let's go in with the shot seats.